something. <laughs> We're taking a bullet train all the way to Hokkaido today. This one right here. A Shinkansen. It is one of Tokyo's fastest. It goes 200 miles an hour. And we're gonna be on this thing for the next like four-ish hour, four hours. Yeah, we actually have to board because this is the actual train right here. <laughs> All right. And we're moving. Oh, well, uh, what? Getting comfortable. This thing is huge. Okay, so we spent the last couple days uh, just visiting Tia's family. Her parents flew in. Um, we had this huge party. I met like 20, 20 different people. Different of my family. <laughs> <laughs> They're all so cool. Oh so we went on an onsen trip together mm -hmm. for one day. Um, we didn't film it just because, I don't know, it was my first time meeting them and we just wanted to focus on that. Uh, we also went to my family cemetery. Chiyo got to be part of that little tradition. It was just really nice. And now we're on Tokyo's fastest train north. As of 2020, the fastest. As of 2020. Yeah, I think they have faster ones than the worst.
made it to Hokkaido. <laughs> We're in ha Hakote? Hakodate. Hakodate. And uh, we actually decided we're going to try to go all the way to Sapporo tonight. Uh huh. But we've got, there's one more train. Yeah, that one is also four hours and it leaves in uh, 30 minutes. We gotta go. Okay. Welcome. Please select a ticket type. Please take your ticket. Thank <gasps> yeah! That was so easy! This is the first time we've been able to see our breasts in a long time, so we're gonna get some uh, hot milk tea for the vending machine. I don't know if you can see it. I think we've never seen cold weather before. Especially above freezing. It's like in the low 40s. Yeah. Yeah. But if anyone's wondering, yes, we did get new sweaters. My sweet Japanese grandma bought us new sweaters for uh, our Hokkaido trip. Was that was really so sweet cute. of her. Look at them. They're paying off right now in a major way. <laughs> I feel like we should explain why we took a train instead of a $38 flight, which we could have done all for the way up here. one hour. <laughs> It's just fun to do it this way, oh, basically. Oh yeah, 100%. One of us really, really likes trains and really likes to find the most complex way to get from point A to point B. I and thought you liked that too. Oh, I love it. I love it. But I think that's like your passion is trains and putting us in difficult situations. I feel like she's being really right, nice right now. No, I love it. I also found a deal for the JR Pass. It's completely unlimited for 21 days mm -hmm. and it was about $450 per person. Which seems really expensive, which it is, but today's trip from Tokyo all the way to Sapporo would have cost us $450 total. Yeah, so, so. we paid for half of, well, we paid for one of our tickets. Mm -hmm. And just, we still have just today. 20 days left. <laughs> We're gonna try and go to the northernmost point of Japan mm -hmm. in Hokkaido, all the way down to the southernmost point. We were talking about the other night with Tia's dad, and it just seemed like a good idea. Yeah, why not? So that's what we're going to do. I feel like we had to explain that because we've been on trains the entire day, but the other train was so quiet, we didn't want to be like talking too loud. Mm -hmm. There's nobody here! But we can be as loud as we want. In the U.S., basically the only type of train you see is a freight train, and that's the first time I've seen a freight train in Japan. Also, look at these platform names. Fox, Goal, Girlfriend. and Eagle. What'd you say? Girlfriend. <laughs> This is our uh, our home for the next three and a half hours. I was gonna say, it's not as comfortable and luxurious as our last one. This is a diesel electric train. It's very clean, there's a lot of leg room. It's a little bit more... Rickety. There's, it sways a little bit, and it's not quite as fast. Actually, I think this train is covering a quarter of the distance that the Shinkansen did, and mm -hmm. taking almost exactly as long. So, you know. It's gonna be great. But we can get some work done, because, <laughs> yeah. It's late, oh. but we made it to Sapporo. <laughs> it's like midnight. But it's so nice, we're finally getting here. I love it. And it's not nearly as cold as I thought it was going to no, be. It's like in the... It's in the low 40s, yeah. so it's almost midnight, so that's really not bad. It's brisk. It's quite brisk. I feel awake now. I napped a little bit on the train. Now I'm... I'm ready. <laughs> I think we have like a mile walk to our hotel. Mm -hmm. And we get to see what Sapporo looks like at night. Yeah. This is so cool. It's still very awake and alive.
this place is cute. This is so cute. Look at this. We got pajamas. We got two little beds. Matching. So we're going to push together. Yeah, of course. <laughs> That was ten and a half hours on trains. It sure was. Well, it was real fun. <laughs> I had a great time. That was a good day. That was fun. Japanese trains, excellent. I can't wait to uh... ride them every day for the next three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks you guys for coming along with us, and we can't wait to explore Sapporo tomorrow. We'll see you on the next one. Subscribe. For the last few days, we gotta wait for this guy. For the last few days, we knew we won't. <laughs>